She was in labor. And she was being dramatic. The number one thing a doctor needs is empathy. Maybe you've heard of it. It's that thing where when another person's in pain, you sympathize with them. So this weekend, instead of banging your little anorexic gold digger, I'm gonna need you to read up on what it feels like to push a bowling ball out of your vagina. You are not my attending. <laughs> no, you got that right. I'm the person your attending is afraid of, Honeyland. Steven does his own laundry and he's seven. You know, I tried to pay him to do mine, but he just looked at me. He told me. He asked if he could report you for child abuse. Why are you working so much? You sweet on what's his name? I'm trying to build up our kids' college funds. Claire is still up in the air. She seems to take after you. But Steven is on the Ivy League track. You're getting too old for this. Shouldn't you be captain by now? Ouch. Let me go sit in my Mercedes and cry about that. Look, Daisy, it really doesn't matter to me what you decide to do here because either way, I'll be fine. If you want to do 15 years in prison, I'll send you a postcard from Maui every year. But if you want to turn your life around, I can help. That woman had to deal with the devil. At least I thought she did when I was a kid. I remember one day she had me do this whole binding spell for a boy I liked at school. I wrote our name on a piece of paper and put it in a jar of honey. And you wrote his girlfriend's name on another piece and put that in the freezer. <laughs> yeah. She said it would make him sweet on me and cold to her. <laughs> I remember that.